YouTube, fly boys here. Today I got another banger for y'all. This is this video is mostly dedicated to the newer MLB, the show players right here. But I definitely got some tips for everybody in here. So I just recorded this video like a good three times, and due to me being a tech dummy, I have had to re-record it yet again. So. This right here is my final time, and I know this one's going to be good. So, look, I want to show you guys my team first real quick. Mm -hmm. We got this start is okay. This is the bench. Mm -hmm. like, got the zone in pictures. Chill, chill. The bill okay, okay, okay. All right, so let's get it started. Whoa, before I even go into the free shit, let's go into the money. If you got money to blow, you're going to come right here to the stub shop, buy some stubs. Then you're gonna go to the community market and buy the players you want. That's step one. Or you could go buy packs if you're feeling lucky. But I'll, I'll guarantee you, after you buy that 50, you're gonna realize, damn, I'm never gonna pull trout. And then, then you're just like, yeah, let me not do this. You know, just be, just be smart, bro. Just go to the community market. And that's it. All right. Now that we got that out the way, let's start with the feature program so right now we're in the eighth inning program all right you want to get up to the bosses and get these guys all right while you're going through there you're gonna get packs stubs xp you know you never know what you'll get out of these packs but just getting straight to the point you want to get one of these bosses all right these bosses are really good you got these for me pudge Ty Cobb, Clay and Kershaw. I chose Ty Cobb, but I also have Clay and Kershaw as I bought them off the market. So you just want to go through these, all right? Do all these missions, do the showdown, do the conquest, do the moments to get these players. And when you do those moments, you'll unlock the players, which are pretty good, like the Anthony Rendon and the Tory Hunter, which will help you make your team better as you're grinding for the program bosses also in each program boss there's a i don't know what you call these guys but you get one of three diamond players before the the main bosses like the mini bosses i guess you call these right here you got these three if you're going to choose one of the starting pitchers go with mitch keller if you're going to choose a hitter this is your only hitter so you'll choose him all right simple just go through those it's straightforward i shouldn't have to explain how to do those now when you get to the xp reward path when you hit i believe level 60 is when you get your first high diamond pack choose Corey. all right there's nobody else you should be choosing first except for this Corey kluber he still is a top five pitcher in this game right now the sinker slurf cutter he's too good all right just get him then when you get the high diamond again i, I believe at level 80 Choose Raleigh Fingers. Again, he's one of the best relievers in this game. Get him. He's still in my lineup to this day. All right. Now, when you get to one of the big boys, all right. Personally, personally, I feel like Reggie Jackson is the best out of the bunch. But you know, this is all personal preference. Ryan Sandberg is good too, depending on if you can manage his swing. All right. He has a pretty slow swing. But if you make good contact and good timing, the ball will f the ball will fly. Honestly, all right. So there's that. Now we have collections. I'll be honest with you guys. Mickey Manu and Mike Trout are the best cards in this game, undoubt, undoubtedly. All right. But those guys, the odds of you getting them are very low. Just for the simple fact, you have to collect every single player in the game with, with Mickey Manu. So unless you have like 3 million stubs laying around, you're not going to get the Mickey Manu. So let's let's just avoid that for now. We want to get players fast, all right? The fastest way you can get good players, go to the tops now, play all these moments, all right? These moments are easy, and they're not too long. So... You can get those done real quick. And these are the cards that you'll be able to choose from. Okay, 99, 99, 99, 98. So, look, you got some good players here, man. Trey Turner, Bo Bichette, Kenta Maeda, who has that sinker. 
circle change, curveball, slider, fastball, all right? He's like a he's like a, a poor man's Greg Maddox, all right? Shane Bieber, Conforto, Corbin Burns, who I actually want to try out. I didn't know he had that sinker cutter combo, and those are his main pitches, meaning those will be very effective. I'm actually going to try him out and see what he's like. But yeah, look. Jose Abreu, like you got some really good players that you could get out of the top snap and you could easily finish those missions, all right? Next thing, return of extreme. I'm not gonna do these moments most likely just because I, I don't feel like I need to, but I'm gonna show you what kinds of players you can get from doing these moments. I, I personally did the showdown, okay? So showdown. The last person you're going to face is Nate Pearson. So you want to get righty killers in this lineup, all right? Just get a whole bunch of righty killers. And you're only facing mini bosses, meaning you're only going to hit. So you don't have to worry about people being in position or out of position. As you see right there, right field to playing second. You don't have to worry about playing defense. Just get some good hitting in your, in your lineup. And when your pitcher is up to bat, substitute him for a batter. And that'll be the easiest way to get these done. Then when you're doing the perks... When you're choosing perks, choose perks that only have to do with hitting that you think will be the best for you because you won't be pitching. So don't choose any defensive perks. Only strictly focusing on offense when you're doing this showdown here. All right. Finish all these showdowns. There's no reason to not do them. They're really easy and they'll make that final showdown way easier as you'll be getting more players and more perks. So just just do those. All right. That was what that was what I did. To get the Christian Yelich, which you'll see right here. I got Christian Yelich just, just from doing that showdown. All right. If you want to do the conquest in the moments, that's how you can get Nate Pearson and Lou Gehrig. I'm not going to do that conquest as that board takes too long. And I don't like conquest. If you, want to, if you want a conquest tips video, you're going to have to go on another channel for that. I will give you tips for anything but conquest because I personally don't play a lot of conquest. I've probably done like three maps total this year. And that was out of desperation. So, back to what I was saying though. If you if you feel like you're not good enough to do the conquest or the moments, because you know these are high difficulty challenges, legend, hall of fame. I know if you're new to this game and you're not really that good yet, these might be difficult for you. So I just recommend doing the showdown. The showdown is extremely easy. Anybody could do those. And then you'll get five ball and it's a habit packs, meaning five guaranteed gold and a high chance of pulling a diamond. Then you get the ducks on a pawn pack, which you can possibly get one of these three guys who are expensive. So you can either sell them or keep them. Chapman, if you get him, I'd keep him just because he's one of the best lefty bullpen pitchers you can have. So there's that. Hmm. You're more likely to get one of these other players, but you know, wh whoever you can get when you're starting off is gonna is gonna be a big difference. All right, moving on. Babe Ruth, his moments, the moments to get Babe Ruth. All right, I did this. I knew I had to get that Babe Ruth. That Longoria is pretty garbage, so I don't really care for him. Trevor Hoffman, he can help a lot of people's ball pens. Okay, I don't. I personally don't use him, but he's good. Tom Seaver. Top five starting pitcher right now, in my opinion. I have him in my rotation. Then you get a whole bunch of other packs. Boom, boom, boom. Headliners, Ball in the Habit, 20 to Show packs. Then the Babe Ruth. This is where I really wanted it. So Babe Ruth can either play outfield or first base for you. In my opinion, he's best put at first base. You know, he doesn't have the best fielding stats. Doesn't have the best arm. Doesn't have the worst arm, but... You really just want to put him at first, I believe. But that's really personal preference at the end of the day. All right. Next thing. Monthly awards. So, April, May, June. If I was new to the game, I wouldn't do April, May, and June. Okay. June is more like if you really want to, which is Cody Bellinger. You can prestige him and he becomes really good. But again, we want cards fast. This isn't going to be fast. I'll, I'll tell you that much. All right. Paxton. It's not going to be fast, but it'll be worth it. A 99 lefty, one of the best lefty starting pitchers you can get. So there you go. I'd go for him. And you get you get cards in between that. I forgot to mention, okay? To make your, just make your team just a little better. If you're starting new, everything counts, all right? 
We got these guys. Luke Voigt. Look at that power. Look at that contact versus right. He could start. He could start on, on many teams. Jesse Winker. Nasty. Look at those hitting stats. Then Tatis. He could play short, second, third. He's like an infield Mike Trout. Only thing is he's lacking a lot of contact, unfortunately, against left. And in the lower difficulties, that won't matter. Like when you're playing head to head. Like if you're playing All Star or even Hall of Fame, it won't matter. But once you get to legend, that lefty, when 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 it's Tatis versus a lefty, you gotta make such good contact for the ball to be hit good. But regardless, this is one of the best cards in the game. You have to get them, all right? Get that Tatis. Now you got all the moments players. Now let's let's picture it. You have all the moments players you want. You have Tatis. You have James Paxton. You're working towards that Corey Kluber and that Raleigh Fingers. All right. At the end of the day, if you're not paying real life money to get the stubs, this is what it's gonna take for you to get your team set. But I'm assuming if you're watching this video that that's what you want to do. So look, you can do events and events is pretty casual you know it's not too sweaty you could get in there get some dubs get some packs get some players and you can either sell them off or keep them cool events battle royale is another one now battle royale is very competitive it's gonna be hard to get 12 wins if you're an average player but you can keep going to battle royale three wins equals a silver six wins equals a gold nine wins equals a low tier diamond 12 wins equals a high tier time diamond flawless if you go flawless you're automatically gonna make a whole bunch of money if you however if you get 12 wins but you get one of those good diamonds that sell for a lot like a trout a gary cole justin verlander etc jacob Degrom, things like that you'll make a lot of subs so it's up to you how you want to do it that's the thing about this game that i love you got so many options on how to get good players you could really make a good team with like one day of grinding like you could literally come onto this game at this point in, at this point of its life cycle you could get on the game and make a good team in one day all right it's really just about how much are you willing to grind how much time are you willing to put into the game so that'll be all for this video yeah this was how to make a good team quick on diamond dynasty I will be dropping more tips and tricks videos in the near future. Batting, pitching, making stubs, all that. You guys, I just want you guys to let me know what you want. Make sure you drop a like so I know you're enjoying the content. And anyways, I'm out. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace. Oh, wait, unpeace. Make sure you follow all my social media. I will have it in the description. My Twitch, my Instagram, my Twitter. If you have any questions or you just want to film me, follow. Make sure you do that. I'm not Hollywood. As soon as you send me a message, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All right? Peace.